All right, folks, before we talk about microeconomics or macroeconomics, the specifics of those topics, what I first need to do is I need to discuss with you the idea of benefits and costs. We are going to be talking about benefits and costs all semester long. So do you recall in the definition of economics that we just did, uh, we talked about the idea of scarcity, okay? The idea of scarcity and that we are, our, our job as economic agents is to deal with scarcity, to deal with scarcity. So dealing with scarcity, like I said, means making a decision. Now, every single time you make a decision, presumably what you're trying to do is you are making a decision that is going to do something good for you if you are rational. Remember, our assumption is, being scientific here, our assumption is that you are a rational economic agent, and so then when you make decisions, you're trying to make a decision that is good for you, not bad for you. Now, don't get me wrong. We can possibly do some things that appear to be bad for us, but with the purpose of gaining something better for us. So like, for example, why would a soldier voluntarily die in wartime? Well, they might voluntarily die because they want the benefit of stopping the enemy and saving their friends or saving, saving their, their uh, you know, fellow uh, soldiers or, the, uh, or the, their loved ones at home. Okay, so uh, just because something looks like it's overall bad for somebody doesn't mean that they do not believe that they are getting some kind of benefit from uh, whatever it is they're doing. So in the case of a soldier, they are sacrificing themselves for the sake of the good of, uh, of their country or for the good of humanity or for whatever reason that they're sacrificing themselves. So when somebody makes a decision, there are two elements to every decision, and those are there are benefits of the decision and then there are costs associated with the decision. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give, give you uh, definitions of the words benefit and cost. Okay, so we'll put them over here. I'm going to write the word benefit, and I'm going to give you a, a, my definition of the word benefit. And what I have here for you is um, something valuable or positive, or let's say something positive, something positive, or valuable, oops, that's supposed to be an R, something positive or valuable, obtained, received, or gained, obtained, received, or gained. So basically, when you get something good, that's a benefit. Um, so, for example, uh, why would somebody get up every morning early in the morning and go running, where the running is a little painful for their body, it uses up a lot of energy and that sort of thing? Well, they want the benefit, they want, they want something positive or valuable from the running, which is to keep their body in good health. Okay, so a benefit is something positive or valuable that's obtained, received, or gained. And then a cost, here's my definition for cost is going to be anything valuable anything valuable that is given up that is given up lost or sacrificed. Trying to gain some benefit. Trying to gain some benefit. Okay? All right. So, we have benef the benefits of a decision that's the something positive or valuable that you get. And then we have the cost of a decision. That's the thing that's valuable that you give up. So very simply what's happening here is 
You have something valuable, and then there is something else valuable that you do not have, and you trade the, the thing that you have for the thing that you don't have but want. And so you give something up in order to get something else. That is, the, that is why you make a decision, okay? You have a flat tire, you want the tire to not be flat anymore, and therefore you give up some of your time and you give up some of your money so that a person will make your tire not flat anymore, which is a benefit, that's something positive and valuable for you, is for the tire to not be flat anymore. Is your time and money valuable? Yeah, sure, you, but you are willing to give up the time and the money because to you, having the tire not flat anymore is more valuable to you than the time and the money. And so, um, this, is, this idea of benefits and costs are, is central to any uh, study of economics, so to understand economics. So what you're doing is you're basically, you are trading, you are trading costs in exchange for benefits, okay? And the costs generally that you are giving up, the valuable things that you are giving up are your limited resources. Remember we said that and when we talked about scarcity, right? Dealing with scarcity. Your costs are the limited resources and then the benefits, this is, these are the goals or the needs, or the wants. Remember, in the, uh, when we talk about scarcity, the problem of scarcity, we're saying that we're trying to achieve certain goals which are unlimited, okay? These goals and needs, the benefits that we want in life are unlimited. If you asked somebody, well, how many benefits do you want? They would say, I would want all of them and more. But we can only have so many benefits because every time we get a benefit, we have to give up a limited resource. So in order to get a benefit, you have to give up a cost, okay? Now, there are some things out there that people believe are, they, they use the word free. I want you to consider the word free, okay? You've heard this word before, free. In fact, yeah, there was a radio show uh, years ago there was this, uh, that I li like to listen to, and, and one of the guys on the radio show, he used to say, if it's free, it's for me. The problem is, is there, there's not really anything in this world that is truly, truly free. That for this class, the definition of free we're going to work with is having no cost. And there isn't anything in this world that you can do. There's no decision that you can make in the universe where, you, where, where it has absolutely no cost. This is a fantasy. There is no such thing as having no cost. Now, there is a phrase out there that some economists use, and it goes like this, free of charge. Free of charge means that there is no monetary cost, meaning that the cost, whatever it is that you have to give up to get the benefit, is not a money cost. So, if you go somewhere and they're handing out something for free, what they really mean is that they are giving them out free of charge. You do not have to give them any money. But if, let's say that what they're giving you is a, um, let's say that they're giving out free, oh, I don't know, um, free pencil boxes. You know those plastic pencil boxes you put your pencils in and you can carry them to school? Let's say they're giving out free pencil boxes. Well, if you accept a free pencil box, uh, where are you going to put it? I mean, if they're free, if they're completely free, there's no cost, then you should be able to get 500 of them and it doesn't bother you. Well, if you had 500 pencil boxes, wouldn't you have to carry them? So now there is a cost. You have to give up your time and you have to give up effort and you have to give up space to carry things in order to carry around these 500 pencil boxes. That is a cost. So when you think about costs, you have to think about the idea of anything that you would give up. For example, 
Let's say that you are planning to go out to lunch one day and you're going to go spend some time on your own and you're going to read a book that you enjoy reading. And so you plan to go to, let's say, a, some kind of restaurant that you really enjoy. Like maybe you really like to go to Panera Bread or you may want to go to Chick-fil-A and you can order whatever food you want, uh, your favorite food, maybe even get a milkshake or, uh, or a coffee or something and then go sit down for about 45 minutes by yourself eat lunch and read your book and just relax and not have to interact with anybody. Now, for some of you, that sounds terrible, but for others of you, that probably sounds awesome, doesn't it? That would be awesome to me. But then a friend approaches you about a half an hour before you're going to go to lunch and says, hey, I'm buying you lunch at the school cafeteria today. Let's go. Now you have a decision to make. Are you going to go to lunch with your friend? And I know that's a hard decision. You might have to say to your friend, no, I don't want to go to lunch with you. I already have lunch plans. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with doing that. But you might be the kind of person that says, you know what? I think my friend really needs me right now. So I'm going to go spend some time with my friend. Now, your friend is buying you lunch. Now, you don't have to pay for lunch anymore. So you're making a decision now. Let's say you make the decision to go to lunch with your friend and you're getting a benefit, right? You're going to spend some time with your friend, you're going to get some food, and you don't have to pay any money, right? So there's no cost. Actually, there is a cost. You have to give up going to lunch on your own. Give up the time that you were going to spend reading the book. You have to give up the food that you were going to eat. You were going to pick your favorite food, and maybe it's your favorite restaurant. You have to give that whole, give up that entire lunch on your own experience so that you can take advantage of the benefit of spending time with your friend. So here's the bottom line. The bottom line is that you uh, have to give up something good in order to get something else good. Now the, the hope here is, so now I'm gonna give you, a, I'm gonna give you this formula, okay? Let's erase this. I'm gonna give you what is a generic formula for economics. The, What you ultimately end up with, we can call the net benefit. And the word net means after you have accounted for all the uh, all elements. So you're going to have a a whole pile of benefits and a whole pile of costs. And you're going to weigh them out. And you've done this before. You've made a list of pros and cons. Pros of a decision are the benefits of the decision. Cons of the decision are the costs of the decision. And when you weigh them all out, hopefully you have more pros than cons. And therefore, your net benefit is going to be positive. So net benefit is going to be equal to all of the benefits of the decision minus, let me erase this limited resources here, All the benefits of a decision minus the costs of the decision. And what you're going to see in this class is there are going to be several situations where we have something that looks very similar to this. But if if this is going to be negative, if the costs of the decision are higher than the benefits of the decision, then it's possible that you may just say no to the decision because you don't want to give up more than what you're getting, okay? Uh, But the basic idea here is this, is uh, benefits and costs, nothing is free, every decision that you make requires trade-offs, even if there's no money being exchanged. So what I'd like you to do is, over the next couple days, is think about some of the decisions that you make, you know? Like, are you going to wear a certain shirt tomorrow? When you wear that shirt, when you pick that shirt, you are choosing against another shirt. There's another shirt that's going to stay in your dresser or stay in your closet. And you're giving up, giving up the opportunity to wear that shirt so that you can have the benefit of wearing the shirt that you chose to wear. So the bottom line with this benefits and costs is very simple. Every single decision that you make has, a, has benefits to it, and every single decision you make has costs to it. And it doesn't matter whether those costs are money costs. Uh, it could be the cost of time. It could be the cost of giving up the opportunity to do something else. Uh, we call those opportunity costs. But 
any way that you look at it, every time you decide that you're going to do something, there is going to be a cost associated with doing that thing, and hopefully, obviously, there will also be benefits to doing it, okay? So now, I want you to keep that in mind as we go forward and talk about everything that we learn this semester.